Hello everybody, today we're working on page 27 in String Basics Book 2. Um, you're going to have to use smart music to follow along on this assignment, and I'm going to take you there right now. Just give me a sec. Oh, here is the first exercise on this page, Iroquois Legend. It's a duet. All right. Um, what the focus of page 27 is, is the key of B minor, which is something we started back on page 26. Um, so the key signature is very familiar to us. We have two sharps, F sharp, C sharp, but most of the notes are going to center around the note B. Um, often in the key of B minor, you'll find some A sharps, but not in this case. So we're going to just deal with this song as it is. I'm noticing some staccato marks. I'm seeing a hooked bow here with a dotted rhythm. All right, remember the dot next to the note makes the note longer, but the note on top of it makes it shorter. Um, so it's, it's supposed to be one and a half beats long. This dictates the rhythm, but this dictates how the articulation is. So it's kind of a short one and a half beats. Um, and I'm seeing the same exact thing repeated here. And B, A, B, A, B, B, A, B, D, B, all right, nothing too terrible in that second line. So let's just play the A part of this. Get ready. Two, three, and. <laughs> Yeah, that goes out even though it's 88, it seems to go at a pretty good clip. So you may want to practice that slowly. Um, especially since it's in 3-4, it feels a little disjointed sometimes when you play through that. Let's move the cursor into the B part. All right, D, B, 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 D, B, D, I'm sorry, B. C sharp, ooh, watch out for that. That's a high three. You can play it with a low four if you like. I like the high three. Um, for my cellos, you have, probably have the Bs written as second finger, and then the C sharp would be fourth finger because it's beyond the tape. D, B, 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 D, B, B, C sharp, D, same thing, right? And the second line does scroll down. B, D, D, C sharp, D, D, C sharp, B, B, D, B, D, D, B, D, B, 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 B. Okay, so there are C sharps to worry about here in the B part. Okay, um, let's try. And two, and three, and. There's actually a song before this on page 103, uh, I'm sorry, page 27. But since we're here, I'm going to continue with the rest of the page and then flip the videos and make sure that this is actually part two. All right. Um, so 105, Urban Lights. And we're going to be playing in the same key. Now, automatically. I already see that we have C sharp. We're going to deal with all these C sharps on the G string. Fourth finger for violin and viola. It makes perfect sense. If you're going to stretch that third finger out, just use the fourth finger. It goes right next to it. It's not hard to reach when your third finger is almost there anyway. Um, I do see some slurring things to deal with, right? especially here. That's a three beat slur and then a fast up bow for that one. A, G, A, fourth finger, F, E, D, E, F, D, C sharp, 
right? And then repeat back to the beginning, play these three measures again, second ending, D, E, F, C, B, and that C sharp, that's not a problem, that's on the A string on the tape. All right, so let's give it a try. One, four. <laughs> having some trouble getting my bow from one string to the other string because I have a bit of a shoulder injury. Um, so slurring between the strings, especially here to here, um, A, G, back there is another cross string slur. That's what I was having trouble with. Actually, the last one, the F to the C, I think it was okay. Um, so some more things to think about with that one. All right, 106, this is not one to play. This is one that we're just gonna use for a bit of a theory refresher. We're gonna talk about some half steps and whole steps. Um, if you're not familiar with that term, a half step is when fingers lie right next to each other on the fingerboard. And then whole steps would be like there's a space between the fingers. So we're going to identify each of these notes as being either a half step or a whole step away from each other. One thing we should make sure we do is look at this key signature. I'm seeing no sharps. Okay, so we have B on the G string, and then we have C on the G string. Maybe if you have your instrument, you could put your fingers on. There's B and C. So is that a half step or a whole step? Well, the fingers are close together, so that's a half step. Okay, the next one we're going to identify is C and D. Now, um, for violins and violas, you could try to use your fourth finger. Tell us you'd have to do is a little more thinking about this. Is there a note between C and D? Well, we just played a bunch of them. We played a bunch of C sharps. So if there's a note in between the two notes, we're going to call that a whole step. And you see with my fingers, third finger and fourth finger have a space here. Okay, so now D and E. So let's go to the D string, D and E. Is there space for a note in between there? Why well, certainly there is. We could play a low one there. Um, so that is a whole step. And lastly, E and F natural. Whole step or half step. That's a half step. Okay. Number two, it says draw the next note to make a half step or a whole step above the given note. So they're giving you, they're saying, okay, here's a B. And what's the note that's a whole step above it? B. Well, if I did that, that'd be a half step, and let's see. So I'd have to go like that. So what's the high three on the G string, or the uh, high four for cellos? That'd be C sharp. All right, so since they, the next note is a C sharp, we'll just leave our fingers there. C sharp, and then a half step from C sharp. Well, we could put the next finger there. That would be a D. So you would draw a D there. F, natural on the D string, and we need a whole step. So we put a space there. So since this is a low two, the next finger would go right on a tape. That is a whole step, and that would be G. So we draw G there. And then E, and we want a whole step, so we're gonna put space. So that finger would land on the tape, so that's your F sharp. Okay, so that's your theory there. Had a couple songs to play the key of B minor, and I will now record part one to this video. For now, they'll be well.